So I just realized we never did a 2023 8 day video for Jalen. Uh, the first series, uh, this low quality film is completely missed. Here's the second series. We didn't miss a lot. Uh, Jalen going deep here. Uh, this is not a good throw. There's really no other way to put it. And the receiver's bracketed. Uh, next play, uh, in route. And there's a spot here. The ball's just a little off the mark. So it is a good read, good anticipation. Just throws off. Third down, the pass rush. Uh, this is this is more the pass rush than Jalen. Uh, they just totally bull rush the offense. Next series, second and five, a little out pass to the tight end. Good throw, tight window uh, on target. Not a difficult throw, but that's what you want to see. Later on, first and ten, just a little bubble. You know, they've got an advantage on the outside. It's an easy route, but a good throw. Later on in the drive. Good uh, Jalen checks down here. You see he wants to go deep. It's not there. His eyes come back to his check down route. So that's what you like to see a little more uh, going through the progressions, checking down, not forcing things. Later on, another good throw over the middle. You know, that's on target. Receiver's open. He gets it there. Those are the kind of throws you want to see, the ones over the middle that are on target and not into traffic. This is the long touchdown run here, a great read option play. The end crashes. Uh, the quality, again, is not great, but you can see just the speed on display here. Uh, this is the thing about Jalen that none of the other two quarterbacks have. He has this other gear. They say he's the fastest player on the team. I mean, when he gets in the open field, you know, it's over with. Rem reminiscent of the Arkansas game. Later on, another little quick pass to the tight end. I think they called him down because of the tag. Nonetheless, good throw. Third and 11 here. You know, patient, looking. I'm okay with this. Takes off. You know, I don't think he got the first down. You know, maybe he would have if it wasn't tag. Uh, here we go. Checks down, comes across the field. You know, that's a good little short pass there. Ball's in the right spot. Good play. Third and five. Again, checks it down. Great play by, I think that's McClellan to get the first down. Next play, they're in two minutes trying to go down the field before the half. This is not a bad throw. He's got man covers. The receivers and I mean the corner's in great position, but you know, he put the ball in the right spot, just a little overthrown. Uh second down. This one here, he drops it in. Same same one on one. He drops it right on the outside of the sidelines. Great catch. So they got the first down. Now he looks left. He comes back. I don't know if he's throwing the out to the back or he's throwing to the tight end or he's throwing to law it's kind of hard to tell that's kind of a, a kind of a dangerous throw there it's just kind of a little gunslinger mentality uh then comes back this is a good play by the db i mean i don't mind this shot here the ball's thrown pretty well give your player a chance to go make a play on the ball you know it's one-on-one -on -one coverage in the end zone third and ten now the dn just whoops the guy in front of him a little edge blitz from the DB. He chucks it up. You know, obviously you can't do this. Um, Jalen's got abilities that none of the other quarterbacks on the roster have, but this is the one thing that you wonder, how does Coach Saban evaluate those type of plays? Next drive, this ball's thrown behind Roydell. Uh, DB almost made a, ch a play on the ball. 11 seconds left. You know, he's just tagged. Good pass rush again. The front seven looked really good in this game. Third and 17, almost halftime. So you don't evaluate too much here with six seconds. There's only so many things you can do. You know, third and 17, it's actually a great play by Law, great throw given the situation. I mean, you're looking at two man under. It's hard to find anybody open there when you've got to go 17 yards, but somehow he – Sticks the ball right there. I mean, that's just a good play and an even better catch. And Law had a couple of good catches in this game. Two seconds left. 
Uh, you know, whatever. Quick check down, halftime. Second half, first throw. Uh, this one, you know, I don't think he sees Kool-Aid over the top. You know, we've got a flat defender, but Kool-Aid's right over the top. Ball should have been picked off. Not a good decision there. Uh, next play, third and eight. You know, he escapes. They don't call him tagged here. And then they give Caleb Downs the tag here, but that's not going to be an easy tackle for him to make in the open field either. Regardless, later on, great little out throw here. Nothing major, but, you know, good throw, good read. Take what the defense gives you. A couple plays later here, uh, Jalen's got one-on-one. -on -one. He's kind of staring him down, which gives the safety time to come over, but it's not a bad throw uh, Kool-Aid is right there the whole way, so there's not really any separation, but it's not a bad throw, you know, with a better receiver matchup there. You like your chances. And here we have another shot play deep over the top. The receiver gets in front of the DB, and it's a perfect throw. You know, that's the kind of stuff you like to see there. He puts it where the safety can't come over and get it, and the wide receiver won his matchup, and he nails him. So again, right here you can see Wide receiver beats the DB. He puts the ball on the outside, on the money. Great throw. And it's to the sideline, so the safety can't get over there. Now the outside, you know, it's there, so he takes off. That's fine. I mean, that's another element. That's an easy five, six yards. Second and six, quick little bubble. Great play by the DB to rally and make the tackle. Third and long. They called the tag here in a game that's not going to be a sack, and there sure is a lot of space. You know, that's the thing about a scrimmage. Oh, well, next drive, first and 10. You know, he hangs in the pocket. He doesn't panic. He's got a guy open there, just doesn't connect. Now, next play. Kool-Aid's in great coverage here great play on the ball he's all over Kendrick Law he had a really outstanding game you know some of that's got to be on the receivers if they're not separating and getting open and making plays and winning one-on-ones here's Kool-Aid again another great play great tackle fourth and ten this ball should have been caught the receivers were not very helpful in this game I guess they probably dropped five or six passes and then next drive pass over the middle good throw now they're in hurry up. This ball right here picks up the first down. Good throw in traffic. You see not a lot of separation, though. These receivers are not wide open. I mean, that's good coverage, depending on how you look at it. Good for the defense. Not good for the offense. This one's thrown behind the receiver here. You know, maybe it could have been caught, but the guy's wide open. You got to put the ball in a better position for him to catch and run. Second and 10, again, the DN just gets by, wins his matchup. Uh, pass rush looked really good in this game. Third and 16, again, not a good sign if your left tackle is continuously getting beat. But once again, pressure's there, the line wins. Fourth and 16, you know, there's not a lot of options here on fourth and 16 with the coverage being off, receivers bracketed. Not the best throw. Again, not a lot of options. They do get one more shot here, first and 10. Uh, great throw here. And then we, sign, we finally see Benson get in the action. And then we come back, another throw. He gets Benson on the outside. A great throw, great placement. Puts it over the defender's head. Kind of surprised Malik Benson didn't come on until so late in the game just with his raw ability. And there's another good throw over the middle to Benson. And at this point, the, the game's already in hand. The defense has got some subs in. Uh, but Benson gets one more, just a good little lob pass in the end zone. So kind of a, a mixed bag. But, you know, if you look at last year's performance in the 8A game and last year's games that Jalen played in, I think he looked a lot better. I think he's definitely made progress. And, you know, after looking at all three quarterbacks and analyzing and breaking it down, I don't know how you can call this QB race right now. I mean, if you took a sample poll of Alabama fans, I'd bet probably 
nearly half of them would pick Ty, and nearly half of them would pick Jalen, and a small percentage of them would pick Tyler Buckner. Uh, curious to see what everyone thinks in the comments.